Schrodinger was one of the scientists who explained quantum theory with a thought experiment called Schrodinger's cat. Quantum mechanics is associated with the understanding of the microscopic world of atoms which we can't reach physically, but probabilistic calculations, as suggested by the Australian physicist Erwin Schrodinger, can help us to predict the possible outcome of the quantum mechanical system. For example, if the particle is an electron present in an atom, the position of the electron cannot be accurately determined. It would be a wave function which depicts the likelihood of an electron being present at a particular position in an atom. This way of understanding quantum mechanics was brought up by Erwin Schrödinger with his wave equations. But, he is also famous for the thought experiment called Schrödinger's cat. Erwin Schrödinger, in discussion with Albert Einstein, devised this thought experiment to demonstrate the absurdity of Copenhagen interpretation. Along with Max Born and Bohr, in 1927, Heisenberg introduced the Copenhagen interpretation. It says that atomic particles or photons do not choose to act as particles or waves at any point. Rather wave and particle-like properties are like two sides of a coin. Which property we observe and infer depends on our approach to the experiment. So, in response to this illogical concept, that's what Einstein thought about the concept, Schrödinger imagined an experiment called Schrödinger's cat, which became immensely famous. He shed a cat inside a box containing a Geiger counter, a hammer, and a small flask of hydrocyanic acid. The equipment is set up such that if radioactive decay takes place, the counter would detect it and cause a hammer to break the flask, such that poisonous gas can kill the cat. After an hour, whether the cat is alive or dead will only be known if we open the box, otherwise, there would be 50 50 chances for both. And, if you follow the rules of quantum mechanics, there also exists a state of superposition, where the cat can simultaneously be alive and dead until we open the box and see. That's how quantum mechanics work. Schrödinger's cat experiment was initially a response to the absurdity of Copenhagen interpretation but ended up supporting it. The experiment concluded that the state of the cat would be in superposition until we open the box. This was in agreement with Copenhagen interpretation, as it said that we cannot predict the state of the particle until we make a measurement, the particle would be in superposition. In 1935, Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen put together the Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen paradox, EPR paradox. Let us understand this with Schrödinger's cat. Suppose you have two cats in two different boxes. If you repeat Schrödinger's cat experiment, cats in the pair of boxes would be in superposition. There would be 25% of probabilities for each outcome, both cats alive, both cats dead, one cat alive, one dead, and one cat dead, one alive. According to quantum mechanics, the former two possibilities are eliminated. Thus, if the cat comes out alive in one box, then it would be dead inside the other box or vice versa. It is called quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is not a theoretical concept anymore. The entanglement of particles has since been demonstrated to exist, with particles separated by many kilometers. Entanglement also has practical uses, which involve super-secure quantum encryption and quantum computing to transfer information even faster than the speed of light. To know more about Schrodinger's cat experiment and related quantum mechanical information, read our blogs at ScienceCept, Science Concepts.